Hey, Sneakerheads back today. We're back today with Snow Linux Crystal Beta 1 E17 Enlightenment. Oh, yes, indeedy. The Debian based distribution, as you know, I've done Snow Linux quite a while ago when he first started doing it. Come on, leaps and bounds. So I'll quite go back and have a look at the E17 one, because you know I like a bit of E17. I don't mean the band, I mean the desktop environmental. Okay? It's basic E17 here, so yeah, it's okay. As you know, if you hit the main desktop, you get this come up. So we're going to run everything, and we're going to go Firefox. So you can do everything from here if you want to. It's there. Hit Enter. In theory, your browser should arrive. And here we are. We're duck, duck, go. So if I go to Enlightenment. Dun, 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 dun. Now we'll come up with all some stupid stuff. There we go. And I'm a window manager. That's the one for me. Okay. Enlightenment.org. That's another one for me. Thank you very much. And here we are. Now here we can get all the stuff that you really want. If you want to change your themes, desktops and stuff like that. It's all here. So if we go to download. We'll have a quick look and I'll show you what I mean. You can get all the other stuff here. All the edgy stuff that you really need if you're going to build it yourself. Don't forget that. But you can get all your themes and that from here via different places. Okay. But that's all I'm going to say about that. So what we're going to do. We're going to go away from there. I'm going to quick show you around. Now, application-wise, there's not too much here. But then again, the download's not too big either, so I'm not too worried about that. So you get basic E17 stuff, so you get an iCarve manager, the Enlightenment file manager, and a file manager. The Root Terminal, Terminal Emulator, and development, you get elementary test, as you know. Graphics, all you do get is Shotwell Photo Manager. Under Internet, of course, is the Fox as standard, it's okay for me. Under Multimedia, you just get Audacious, but you do get GNOME Empire for your vidvos, okay? Under Office, Abby Word. I think I'll put that in actually, can't remember. Under Synaptic, <clears throat> you get the GW package installer, bulk renamer. I'll show you HTOP while we're here. This is just a short video. As you can see, it's not using too much CPU, just over 100 megs of RAM, none of a swap. Yeah, that's all right. I can do that. Can you do that? Yeah, well, I can. As long as you can, I can. Yeah, super duper. Okay, so that's good, wouldn't it? Right, under Multimedia, we've been there. Under Office, we've been there. Under System, we've been there. Synaptic is here for downloading your stuff. Now you can either go, you know, via the Typey typey stuff, or we can go to Synaptic via the clicky clicky stuff. So we're going to go the clicky clicky, and this is why it's a beta because sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, I'm going to try it, run everything, and go try and run Synaptic from there. Okay, and it should be there. Will it open this time? Yay! This is a thing about Enlightenment. That's why it's a beta. It does need some special stuff to run. Although, actually, if you use Bodhi, that also runs okay. Although, last time I used it, I did have a few problems myself. Okay. I made it nice and large for you. So, what should we look for? We're going to look for G Numeric. Okay. You got it to spell then, sorry. Too much like hard work, wouldn't it, really? So, that's searching, searching. That's another song. And there's G Numeric. I'm just going to quickly install that for you all. Yes, we know we want LibreOffice to go as well. We're going to apply. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only 10 megabytes. Apply. 1 megabyte, 2 megabytes, 5 megabytes, 6 megabytes, 7 megabytes. Slow today. What's going down? Dude, I'm losing half my speed. What's going on? And there we go. It'll start installing for us. I don't like the font so much, but that's why you go and get the different themes and that. You can get it all there and sort it all out there from yourself. Okay. So, all I'm going to say is you don't get a lot of stuff with it, like a lot of E17 distros, apart from MacPup. But you do get the choice of installing what you so wish to do so. So we're going to close that and go and check it out. Once Synaptic has finished reloading. Ding, 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 ding. That was nice and quick, wasn't it? So that's quite reasonable, really, wasn't it? Installation took around about eight minutes for me. So that's not so bad. So I'm going to run everything again. And we're going to go G-Numeric. Don't have to go too far because it knows what we're doing. 55321 and G-Numeric comes up. That's nice. And lucky, 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 lucky. So actually you can build Debian base system that you like from here. It's based on Sid and Wheezy, so a bit of this and a bit of that. So yeah, a bit of this and a bit of that. You get all the different enlightenment stuff here. If I open up again and we go to settings, we can open up our settings panel for you. And this is why I like enlightenment. All right, you do need a bit of time to set it up, but from the look you can change the wallpaper applications. So if I go to wallpapers, we've got a few there, look. Oh, some nice ones. Should we change one for you? Mm, yeah, might as well. Should we go to, I don't know, the Japanese maple? Should we apply that? Yes, let's apply that. In theory, that should come up nice for us. And yes, it has, as you can see. Application themes, your fonts as well. Some fonts we've got here. Oh, I might run those. 
Now, I'm not going to change that for now, but as you can see, you can change all your fonts, your borders, your transitions, your scaling, your apps, your screen resolutions, your virtual desktops, your screen setup. Everything here is configurable. Now, I'm not going to go into it no more for a simple reason. Lots of other people have done it, okay? Lots of other people have done it. If somebody asks, I will go into E17 more. Les done one a couple of weeks ago on E17. I think he was using Snow Linux, actually, I'm not sure. But he done one, but it went on for quite a while, a long while too long really i've got a little bit bored near the end sorry mate but yeah it's all here so yes snow next beta it's not really usable on a day-to-day -day system but if you want to go have a play in virtual box it runs nice so don't really worry about it so i'm not going to rate it but snow linux crystal e17 beta very nice indeed sneaky a linux going out i see you later bye, -bye.